Hey guys, how's it going? So today's text pack is called the Marais Swift Texture Pack for Minecraft 1.5.1. Now, I am going to be a little quick in this review, mainly because it's like about to be late, and I did promise you guys a second video for today, and I am not going to let that go away. So yeah, pretty much, let's just get to it, and I wonder why this looks the way it does. I'm pretty sure I have my settings to where the animation on the portal is on. Oh no, it's off. wonder why it was off. But... Alright, the animation on that one is on, and I believe that's mainly the only thing that I need to be on. And yeah, that's the only thing I need to be on. And let's check back in. No, actually it's still looking the same. Well, anyways, this is pretty much a 16x16 16 texture pack. There is a 32x32 32 32 texture pack. I mean, there is a 32x32 32 32 version of this texture pack. And I picked this one out mainly because it's smooth. Um, you know, most of the time, you guys already know, if you're a common viewer, you know, if you're a casual viewer, you know that, uh, I like to go for texture packs that are going from smooth and uniqueness and mostly, you know, just, uh, a lot of color variations to it, designs mostly, specifically, and now let's just get to it. So right here we have the wooden fence and the wooden gate, as you can see right here. Yeah, Charlie. And then right here we have the grass and the dirt terrain. Then we have the dragon egg, the end stone, and here's the portal to the end, the end portal. Now let's check out how the end looks. Now here, right here, what I'm standing on top of is the obsidian, and now let's check out the rest here. So mobs haven't looked like they haven't changed at all, which isn't really so bad because we, go, we usually go for environmental, but sometimes the mob designs actually give the texture pack itself a huge bonus, as some of you guys already know. So, you know, Ender Dragon hasn't been changed, and yeah, so let's check out the overworld. Yeah. So right here we have the iron fence or the iron bars, then we have the sugar canes, then it's the cobblestone, the stone, the diamond, the gold, the lapis, the coal. Actually that's iron, coal, lapis, and redstone. I'm sorry, it's because the coal looked a little weird because it's all smudged up completely. But it's still not a bad block. You can still, you know, figure out which one is what in between the two. Uh, right here we have the, the bedrock, and then we have the iron stone, gold stone, diamond stone, I mean diamond blocks, by mistake, the blocks, and the, the lapis block. Then we have the moss stone, the stone, stone bricks, your clay, your other moss stone. Uh, we have, I believe that's the nether rack in that area. Your bricks, your glowstone, soul sand. I keep forgetting what this is. Actually, I'm having a little bit of a problem just because of this. I guess it's because it's uh, the, cre the texture rack creator's own unique way. So right here we have the glass blocks, the wooden tree blocks, the dirt, sand, sandstone, um, sp you know, the cobweb, sponge wooden plank, pumpkin, mycelium, or mycelium, mycelium, right? I believe it's mycelium. Uh, you know what, I'm not going to bother checking. Right here we have the TNT and then we have the jack-o'-lantern. The jack-o'-lantern is a bit more darker than the pumpkin, as you can see here. The sun is actually right there, it's circular, it's huge. Then we have the snow blocks, then we have the nether bricks, and we have the melon. So here's a closer look at the nether rack. Here's the pumpkins as if they were being harvested along with the wheat, and the nether fence in the back. And here's the obsidian and the nether portal, but for some reason the nether portal isn't really functioning well, so I'm gonna just go right ahead and show you guys the nether. So let's just let it load for a little bit. And this is pretty much the nether. Nice and smooth, as some of you guys, you know, usually go for, just like myself, this guy's just jumping in and out of the blocks, that's crazy. Well, that's pretty much the nether, it seems a little bit dim, so you guys might want to brighten up the settings a little bit. But remember, there is a 32x32 32 32 version of this texture pack, so this is more like a smudged up version, I believe, and I'm kind of hoping so. But it's still a pretty cool texture pack to check out. I highly recommend you guys to check it out, especially if you have frames per second issues like myself. So now let's check out the rest of the blocks that have been, <coughs> you know, also put inside the game itself. So right here we have the wooden tree and the leaves, then we have the spruce, then it's the birch, and then it's the jungle tree blocks right there along with the vines. Now right here we have the slime, but as you can clearly see, the slime and the ocean have not been changed. So mobs, don't expect changes in it, just, you know, terrain-wise and items like the lever, depurator, uh, repeater. And we have the uh, soul sand, redstone torch, power rail, glowstone, furnace, enchanting table, uh, mostly used anvil, I mean, yeah, partially used anvil and then the freshly new anvil, your wooden tree block, your wooden, you know, plank, I mean, here's your wooden tree block and that's the wooden tree plank thing. Then we have the emerald block, the emerald ore, and then the emerald design in the middle. Then we have the ender chest that doesn't seem like it's been changed at all, and then we have the chisel block over there. So GUI and font has not been changed, well, mainly just this pretty much, the interface has changed with the GUI, you know, itself, like the, you know, the, well, actually this has, actually, 
just this part when you're in creative but I don't believe I don't think survival mode changes anything um, <clears throat> and let me hit right here I don't know why I did that right here we have the 1.5 blocks that I've been added like the come on what was this called the quartz here's the nether ore quartz or the nether quartz ore then we have the you know the quartz itself the pillar the chisel you know like good stuff the block of redstone the hopper the dropper and then right here we have uh, the activator and I have this spot here because I feel like they're gonna add another thing to it so let's just hope for it around the gravel is we what we have snow paints yeah so right here we let's check out the items that are inside the picture frames seems like nothing really much has changed in terms of you know design wise on their picture frames but environmentally things have been changed as you can see from the cobblestone wall moss stone wall uh, pot doesn't seem to be changed that much neither does like the rest of the moss so I'll just be going really quickly through this but the beacon has been changed itself so again if you guys don't think that the mobs have been like they there are some changes well as you can clearly see nothing really has changed I'm going through this really quick because I don't want to be wasting your guys's time actually you know what I scratched that the pigs actually have been changed so pigs have been changed sheeps haven't uh, cows seem to have been changed but the sheep no they haven't they haven't changed at all so mainly just small particular things I don't think the six pack is completely done yet because I keep looking at the nether portal as a missing thing but here's the flowers the redstone I mean the regular torches on the left and right side redstone torches on the very end and here's some unique looking uh, wool here's the lighter color of wools and here's the darker color of wools and then the ladders so let's just climb these suckers up and let's just continue on with the review right here we have the slabs and then the stairs we have your sign, and then we have your flowing water. Then we have the minecart and the boat. And then, you know, the cactus. Just regular cactus. Wooden pressure plates on the bottom, levers on the right side, left side, trapdoors right here below me, and uh, stone pressure plates also on top of the moss stone. The iron door is the left one, and the right door is the wooden one. Now, if you guys are wondering why this texture pack has some kind of strange looking textures, it's because it's more medieval based rather than a, you know, a very simple texture pack it's more medieval it's just a heads up for you guys that are actually wondering why it looks the way it does so maybe for a medieval RPG server or your survival with the mods that you probably have compatible with each other and then we have the rest on wiring then here's the rails again sticky piston on the right side and regular piston on the left side but it doesn't look like the sticky piston has much of a difference maybe just like color variant maybe glass panes also on the left side and then Here's a little room that I always have, and the chunk areas that always seem to happen here. You saw that moon? We're gonna check that out. It's right here with the bed. It looks pretty comfy, and in terms of like the bed looks like it's probably stitched up together. The cake is a lie because it looks like it's an orange cake. Would you ever eat an orange frosted cake? I mean, I'd probably go for ice cream orange cake or something, but that's me. Right here we have the bookshelves. Then we have the brewing stand on the right side and the collagen on the you know on the left side. But here's the bookshelves. Then we have the music note blocks right here. And then we have the music player blocks. Even the chest itself has also been changed. So now let's check out the items. Well, items doesn't seem to have been changed either. Neither does anything else in here. It seems to be pretty normal for you guys. So nothing really too confusing. So don't be, you know, so alarmed if you can't see anything. The clock does look unfinished and the compass too. So you might want to just keep checking back and forth on the updates of this texture pack. But it shouldn't be too hard to figure out which one's what, to be very honest with you guys. Like when it comes to... Um, you know the, the blocks down there mainly and then last but not least but the three items that I barely get the chance to show you guys because they're always out of the way we have the light pressure and the heavy pressure and then the daylight sensor I'm not too sure what these things do so feel free to leave a comment below if you know exactly what they do because I have not had time to play Minecraft in 1.5.1 so now that the Sun is setting and I'm wrapping up this review check out the moon it has a face Maybe you don't want to zoom in, but you can see the face right there. That's really creepy though, now that you think about it. Imagine sleeping, you have like a glass ceiling, you're getting nice and comfy and cozy in your little bed. You have your redstone or torch, you know, your redstone or nightlight that you could, you probably found like on Hot Topic or something. Because I have it. If you don't believe me, check out my Twitter and my Instagram. I has it there. But that's pretty much it. You. This is pretty much the texture pack, you guys. It's a 16 by 16 texture pack. There is a 32 by 32 version of it. I am using the 16 by 16 uh, mainly because it was the one that was right there available for me to just grab and check out but as you can see diamond armor 
armor hasn't been changed at all whatsoever so that's all right it's not a bad thing i actually do prefer it that way uh at least for a medieval texture pack maybe the guy might you know decide to put some changes into it maybe add a little bit few characters and all that stuff but uh yeah anyways you guys take it easy be safe i know this is a late video i do apologize for it but um i had to show you guys at least a video and i actually came across this texture pack and i actually caught my attention because i actually love the way it looks to be very honest with you guys it's very smooth medieval i'm gonna be trying it out on the SEMO server to make sure to check that out if you haven't already and i think it's offline right now we're still fixing it, but when it goes online i'm still gonna be checking you know the server out with different texture packs if you guys seen my folder of texture packs i have a ton i think they go way back to like 1.3.2 so that was quite a while ago i think even from 1.2 but anyways you guys take it easy be safe hope you guys enjoy the texture pack and the review itself make sure to check out both and thank you guys so much for the support uh it really means a lot like i'm not even joking it really does mean a lot hopefully one day i'll be closer to having a new tower to be able to show you guys these texture packs in their full potential not in their tiny render distance like the ones i have now and um yeah anyways you guys peace out take it easy make sure to check out my twitter so you guys can see me rant post random things just post I don't know, a bunch of random stuff. You don't even have to follow me. You can just make fun of me. I don't care. Try me. And then check out my Instagram. I post like a bunch of random stuff there too. So, and my voice just cracked, didn't it? Anyways, you guys, take it easy. Be safe. Have a good week. I'm enjoying my spring break. So, psh, I'm relaxing. Yeah. Look at the moon. That's freaking scary. It's freaking creepy, man. Creepy. Creepy.